Hi everyone, my name is Mary Mancusi. I am an author from Austin, Texas, and I'm here to tell you about my new book, which comes out in May. It's called Dragon Ops, and it's a video game adventure book where three kids uh, get a chance to come to the world's very first augmented reality video game theme park uh, set on a deserted island and they get to try out the game before anyone else but when they're inside the game something goes wrong it gets taken over by this rogue artificially intelligent dragon uh, who's determined to win the game at any cost and suddenly they find themselves in a fight for their lives with real life consequences and no cheat codes or uh, game guides or any hacks that can help them out so I want to read a little bit uh, from the first chapter uh, just so you get an idea of what the book is like. The dragon was bigger than I remembered. That was my first thought as we crept through the dark temple, entering the beast's inner lair. Atreus lay sleeping on a massive hoard of gold and jewels, his thick scaly tail co coiled around his body like a snake. He was so large, in fact, he barely fit into the cramped space, and I wondered wildly how he could possibly be comfortable all squashed up like that. A totally ridiculous thought, I know, but I wasn't exactly thinking straight, too busy freaking out with fear. I shot my sister a questioning look, wondering if she noticed the change, too. Had Atreus really grown bigger since we'd seen him last? Were his scales redder now, more blood-like, or was it just a trick of the light? His wings seemed longer, his tail thicker, his talons sharper as if evil had gotten an upgrade. Suddenly, what once seemed a totally doable plan down at the bottom of the mountain now seemed a craziness of epic proportions. What had we been thinking? We were just two kids, total noobs, and yet here we were hoping to take down the biggest, baddest dragon in all the land by ourselves. This was not gonna end well. Atreus stirred, rousing from his slumber. We dove behind a crumbling stone column, desperate to stay out of sight. My heart thudded badly in my chest as his eyes slid open, twin golden crescents shimmering in the darkness. A burst of steam shot from his snout as he yawned lazily, showing off a dark pit of razor-sharp teeth. Sweat dripped down my back. How could we ever hope to defeat such a creature? But we had no choice. Everything came down to this. I squeezed my hands into fists, trying to wake my inner hero, to remind myself that here in this world, I was not Ian Rivera, 12-year-old gamer geek from Austin, Texas, and real-life total wimp. Here I was Lord Wildhammer, premier knight of the realm. Lord Wildhammer wouldn't be scared of some dumb old dragon. Lord Wildhammer would be chomping at the bit to slice its ugly head off and save the world. Lord Wildhammer, it would seem, was a major idiot. Atreus' eyes began to rove the chamber, and the walls seemed to close in on us, tighter and tighter with every glance. When he reached our hiding spot, he stopped, his head cocked and his ears pricked. I froze. Could he see us? Could he sense somehow that we were here? My heart beat so hard in my chest I was half convinced I would break a rib. What were we going to do? How were we going to survive this? My sister reached out, squeezing my hand hard. Remember, it's only a game, she whispered. But the thought wasn't as comforting as it should have been as my eyes fell in the dragon's belly, glowing a deep dark red as it warmed with deadly fire. Because this might be a game, but one wrong move and it would be game over, this time forever. So that is a little sneak peek of Dragon Ops. It's a great book for uh, kids maybe third grade and up uh, who like video games and adventure stories. Uh, I, I am a big gamer myself, so it was a really fun one for me to write um, because I got to put in all my geeky video game references uh, from old games of the 80s to brand new VR type games. And uh, it's a little like Jurassic Park too, you know, where you're getting stuck in a theme park and have to escape. So I hope you check it out. It's out in May. And uh, thank you for listening to my video. Bye.